I'm glad to see you all here, and I really appreciate it for all my friends and family who is here with me to see that I am receiving something that I was really, really wanted to have. And I really appreciate this, what they've done for me, and I really love it. And I don't know when I could ever stop loving it these days. And never stop with Mr. Cordell. He's the best man around here. I, I made this promise maybe like from 208. Not expecting that you would have been out that long. I ended up actually leaving and coming back. But I, I came back to politics primarily for people like Mr. Now. So that I could fulfill the promise I made to those people. Because um, I grew up in this era. I live just like them. Grew up just like them. So I could relate entirely to the challenges they have. Um, and that's our job as representatives and government ministers, really, to try as very best as we can to deliver to as many people as we can, primarily the people who need our help the most. And we just want a little lift. You know, this, this house will, will take them forward for generations, you know, because previous to that, the, Mr. Maro didn't even know if he would make it to this day because he's been battling a lot of illnesses. Um, so I'm happy that he's here. Happy that they have a start. It's a one bedroom, but it has an opportunity to grow into multiple bedrooms. I think up to four bedrooms. Um, it's a big deal, man. A new house is a big deal. Well, this is just one of hundreds that we're working on. And as you can see, just to be able to access the property, we had to build the road and we had to kind of fill the lot. So it's, sometimes it ends up being more than just building the house. But that's what we're here for. These people are, are in need and they have no other means. And we had a mandate when we formed this government and we are fulfilling that as best as we can. So it's a pleasure for us to assist them.